Well, that's a little bit different. Okay, so... Uh, it's not showing. There we go. Recently, I purchased this LG G7 ThinQ, or Think, depending on which retarded pronunciation you decide to go with. Can you guess why it was so cheap? I'll give you five seconds. Okay, that was less than five seconds. Can you see the cosmetic damage here? Now, it's not so bad on the front. There's like one crack, and then there's some scratches on the screen that are almost invisible. But on the back... <laughs> Well, fortunately, it's on the back, so I could fill it in with super glue, and realistically, I'd be fine. I know it's not going to look very good if I do that, but it'll be fine. It'll at least give me peace of mind until I can order a $12 part off of eBay and then fix it with a heat gun. But, uh, yeah. So, huh. Apparently, you can get these, uh, these phones really cheap. Number one, because they are bordering on being technically obsolete and if you go for one that's got some cosmetic damage that's not terribly expensive to repair it's a better music player than the iPod ever was I'll put it that way